Jen from the Kafir King and today I'll bring you through the benefits of sourdough bread. First we need to understand what sourdough bread actually is. So sourdough bread can be any type of bread. It just needs to be made without uh, baker's yeast but using um, sourdough starter instead. So sourdough starter is actually a mixture of flour and water and um, a wild yeast that is actually pulled from the baking environment itself. So because we are using sourdough starter to make sourdough bread, that actually extends the uh, fermentation process a lot longer than making bread with regular baker's yeast because the sourdough starter requires time to fully ferment the bread and give it its rise. Okay, the first benefit of sourdough is that it is much more nutritious than regular bread. Okay, um, I should point out that the composition of sourdough bread and regularly made bread is about the same. Um, they have the same types of flour uh, and water used in the recipes. But the difference is the fermentation time. All right, so a lot of good, a lot of like whole grain bread uh, made with regular baker's yeast actually contain quite a lot of uh, good nutrients and minerals like uh, zinc, potassium, magnesium, phosphorus, which is actually good for our bodies. However, um, uh, using baker's yeast, these flour still contain chemical called phyt phytic acid, which also are known as phytates. And these phytates, they are all they are known as anti-nutrients and they will actually bind with the good nutrients that we want from the bread, like, uh, like the potassium, the calcium, the iron and the zinc. And that renders it uh, unable to be used by to be absorbed by our bodies. Which is quite ironic because we are buying the whole grain bread for those you know, minerals. But then because of uh, the short fermentation process, phytates, there are a lot of phytates left in regular bread. However, for sourdough, because of the fermentation process, it actually degrades the phytates quite a lot. In fact, the sourdough fermentation process can reduce the amount of phytates in the final loaf to up to 90%. One study showed that um, sourdough fermentation, sourdough bread contains 25 to 50% less phytates than regular conventional yeast fermentation. So when there are less phytates in your bread, obviously there will be more nutrients or minerals um, in the loaf itself for your body to freely absorb. The second benefit for sourdough is its ability to aid digestion. There are three ways sourdough bread is actually friendly for our gut. The first way is actually a lack of phytates. Remember we talked about phytates that is um, quite uh, present in bread that is baked with baker's yeast? So those same phytates, right, besides binding to nutrients, they also bind to enzymes that will actually help the process of breaking down uh, protein and starch. And because we have less of these enzymes, that is what causes digestion problems. But because sourdough bread uh, neutralizes these phytates uh, during the fermentation and baking process, the bread that we eat in sourdough it's actually less phytates, which means there's more enzymes present to help us with the digestion of the protein and starch, hence less digestion problems. Secondly, sourdough is much easier to digest because of its prebiotic and probiotic content. So prebiotic are non-digestible fibres that feed the beneficial bacteria in our gut, while probiotics are the good bacteria that colonizes our gut and aids with digestion. And thirdly, the sourdough fermentation process actually lowers the gluten content in bread, which makes it easier to be digested by people who are sensitive to gluten. The third benefit of sourdough is that it doesn't cause blood sugar spikes. There are actually some researchers believing that this um, sourdough fermentation process alters 
the card molecules of the dough. This reduces the GI index, the bread's glycemic index, so that it enters the bloodstream at a lower rate. There were some studies showing that participants who ate sourdough bread had a lower blood sugar and insulin level in their body compared to participants that ate bread made with baker's yeast. And the final benefit for sourdough is that it contains no additives. A lot of bread that is bought off the shelf contains a lot of additives like um, enzymes, preservatives, emulsifiers and improvers to actually speed up the baking process as well as give it a longer shelf life. But a lot of these additives are to be blamed to inducing you know, bread intolerance in people, gluten intolerance in people. And true sourdough, however, is made with just four ingredients. Water, uh, flour, salt and sourdough starter, which is the, the core of sourdough bread. It also doesn't usually have a very long shelf life, especially in Malaysia's weather because it's so humid. So usually sourdough bread here lasts 3 to 5 days. If you'd like to try out some authentic sourdough bread in Malaysia, you can check out our website. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. Thank you for watching and I hope you found our content useful and interesting. If you'd like to get more updates about videos that we might post in the future about kefir and sourdough bread, please subscribe. That would mean a lot to us. In the meantime, have a happy kefir day!